I mean, damn, I mean, I'll be honest. I was going through sort of a midlife phase where I was listening to old hardcore bands that I had grown up with and kind of like going, wow, this is actually really, really good. And like, oh, this is still inside of me, you know, like figuring that out. I think that vocabulary resonates with me. And all I can tell you is when you have that stuff inside of you, it's going to come out. And in my case, it comes out in maybe strange ways and uh, it becomes something else. I'm not really going there like, say, Jello Biafra would go there. <laughs> um, but I'm hinting on it, and I'm also injecting a lot of humor and a lot of, like, uh, nasty imagery. And I think that hopefully it helps people, I don't know, think a little bit. I mean, I, there's nothing that I do that, that belongs anywhere. Even if I were to sit down on paper and draw out, okay, here's what a hardcore singer should do. I, I wouldn't follow it. You know, it's just like, I gotta do my own thing. So it's gonna be, it's gonna be impure. And I realized long ago that anything that I do uh, with whatever band is gonna be some sort of weird hybrid, uh, some sort of bastardization of what I'm really trying to do. And that comes from, you know, experience and, I don't know, a lot of influence and, and, and many years of doing it.
Nazi redneck assholes, fuck off.
with two. This is a lesser known tune, but let's see what we do. Somebody in this house! Somebody in this house! Somebody in this house! Somebody in this house! It smells. We did okay.
Take it, Azima. Yeah. Hey. 